Hey guys, Bearded CB82. So, uh, yeah, it's been a little while since I put on a video. Uh, I've been wanting to post this video for some time. Give you guys a little bit of introduction leading into it was uh, approximately three days after I did the spark plugs on the Cummins test engine. The uh, plugs refouled out. It only had 35,000 miles on the test engine. And the plugs only had a couple thousand miles on them. Excuse me. And... Uh, so I went ahead, had to do that, and leading into that, we have to take measurements for Cummins for the valve lap before we adjust them. So had to take valve measurements, which was a pain in the butt. So anyways, here's a little bit of Cummins update video for you guys on the test engine, so enjoy. Everybody, as you can see, we've got the operating table set up today, and here's our special feature. We get to do the overhead on the test engine. Just did the spark plugs on it a couple days ago. Last two days, they fouled out again. Um, yeah, and it's only got about maybe 37,000 miles on this test engine. Typically, from what we've seen in the past and compared it with Cummins, possible overhead adjustment out of valve lash, or valve lash is out of adjustment. I do have to record every time we go to adjust them on these, what that is. So what I'll do is whatever fits in, I will add one thou just to it. Oh, it's not one to focus. Come on, focus, focus. Maybe, there we go. All right, now as you can hear, we've got our wash bay going over there. This is why I do not like to record in the shop during the day. They got the radio blasting, power washers going, it's noisy as shit. So, gonna do uh, standard takedown, rain cowl, you know, air manifold, uh, the crossover bar, that's all. You know, same as I've done in the past, but I'm going to bring you guys through here in sections as I figure out between the uh, exhaust gas research pipe, the EGR cold pipe, stuff like that. Bring you guys in there. This will be the first time I've taken this down. I looked at it when I did the spark plugs. It's going to be interesting, but uh, we'll get her done. I'll bring you guys in as I'm going through stuff. Thanks. So I got a number of these things already taken apart. Got some, got the ignition harness out of the way. I had to pull the for the AC compressor out of the way. Only sensor I think I'm going to have to unplug back here is this pressure sensor. Comes in off your um, crankcase pressure sensor. Taking off the EGR cold pipe's just going to be normal. And just going to have to unscrew it back here as well. We got two different sides. 10 millimeter on the far end and 13 down here here already got this clamp removed this guy right here is our pain in the butt this guy we've got a few bolts down there plus the pipe clamp and i had to remove off of the exhaust shield the two bolts one up top one below that and then a clamp down below where it comes in to the turbo Already got everything. I always spray everything off with compressed air, clean everything off, uh, push everything out of the way before I open up any orifices, and I always close off with a rag for the turbo intake. That's kind of where we're at. Sorry for the shakiness, but this is, uh, I usually have everything apart and opened up about 20 some odd minutes ago. So, catch you when I get more. All right, so I was able to finally get this guy loose to where I can have him out of the way got the crossover pipe loosened up out of the way was able to leave this guy in just enough to make sure I have access to the valve cover bolt here the actual tube this was easy enough to move over all right so back here got to make sure I don't lose that rubber gasket for the cold pipe crossover tube was able to pull it off off to the side I was right, I only had to unplug this guy for this sensor here, and I only had to 
Let's see if I can get my light over here. Bear with me. All right. So I only had to remove, I'll get my finger here in the right spot, the top bolt here and just loosen up the bottom bolt. And again, we got another rubber gasket, so we got to be careful putting that back together. So, but overall, I think my mic's been sitting out of the way. Don't know if you can hear me over that goddamn radio. But, um, sorry, this has been a little bit aggravating of a process here. So, but only had to remove that one bolt. I just got to be careful with it. When I go put it back together, was able to leave the bottom bolt in part way just enough to make sure that the crossover pipe sets in out of the way for removal of the valve cover. So, we're part way there. Now, removing the valve cover is pretty standard. Just remove all your bolts, pull her off. Catch you guys uh, when I start doing some adjusting. All right, now that we got, you know, we had to learn how to hold our mouth just right, get everything sectioned apart. We were able to get that valve cover clean off there and from here, everything's normal. Same Jake brakes. I think valve springs might be just a hair different, but everything else, jam nuts, all that. All the usual. Uh, I've showed them a few other times in a couple other videos in the past. Go see my CNG videos. They should be somewhere in there. If you want to get a real close look. But yeah, so right now we're loose on three, loose on six. So we're coming up on six. Just got to borrow the engine over. Uh, oh, way down off the front crank and uh, off the vibration damper there there's a three quarter inch insert for this guy and we'll just get him barred over go to our notches take measurements sorry about the shakiness yet again and go from there so so far so good and yeah it's been exciting i'll uh, get back to you guys here in a bit Alrighty, guys so we finally got valve lash measurements taken and it was a pain i've got almost every configuration of all my feeler gauges out being used it's a pain in the butt but all I got left is adjust number three and it is done. Had to use conglomeration of lights. That little bitty snap on one I showed the other day came in really handy, especially since it has the good magnet. Usually all I need is that one just to provide a really good area light. But today I needed more. So Cummins, if you're watching, you owe me a big bottle of whiskey for having to do this stuff. Oh, other guy just started up a truck. But anyways, yeah, Cummins, you owe me like a giant bottle of Jameson for having to put up with this crap, because it was a pain in the ass. <laughs>